We get a lot of people asking about this, so we're going to show you how to hook up a throttle cable to a twist throttle assembly and a slide carburetor. So we have our standard style throttle cable, twist throttle, PZ19 carburetor, and we're going to hook these together. And we start by disassembling the twist throttle assembly. It comes apart pretty easily. You just take these two screws off the side and then you'll take the top cover off once that top cover comes off you'll see there's a little wheel in there with a bearing on it and you'll want to take that wheel out of there as well now you can put the cable through and you can thread the housing onto the end of the cable and we like to go about halfway leave yourself some adjustment there inward or outward in case you mess up on the measurement on the carburetor side of the cable this gives you some wiggle room to adjust the cable either in or out and so there's that lead barrel on the end of the cable there and that goes inside the twist throttle assembly but we can already see without even installing it that we don't have room on the carburetor side the cable just isn't long enough or the cable's long enough but it just doesn't stick out of the housing far enough so if we put the lead barrel inside our twist throttle assembly and slide that into the housing you can see there's just no cable left on the end so we go ahead and clip that off of there because we have a cable fitting that we can solder on but before we do that we have to kind of mock up the uh, the cable and figure out how much of the outer housing we need and then we're gonna cut the outer housing once we determine how much we need so in this motorized bicycle we have like a funky long uh, manifold that the carburetor is going to mount to and so we just take a you know a rough estimate here as to how much of this housing we need and then we pull the cable out of the housing and then clip the housing off at that point that we measured So now we have the length of housing that we need for this application on this motorized bicycle. And we send the cable back through the housing and it almost always gets stuck where you cut it. So we take a pointed object, we have like some dental tools and some of them have a nice point on the end. And we use that to clear the the housing there so that we can get our cable through it. Now we can set this up. We can put the twist throttle assembly back together. Pull out the slack on the cable. We get our wheel in there. Make sure the cable goes into the slot on the wheel. Put the cover back on put our screw back in and then we have two more screws to complete the assembly of the housing so once that housing is put back together you can grab the outer conduit and pull the cable which will pull the twist throttle back to idle. That is your starting point, is idle. And once you have that pulled back, you need to determine how much of the cable you need sticking out of the outer housing. So in order to determine that, you know, it's gonna depend on the carburetor that you're using. This is a PZ19 carburetor. We need to measure inside our carburetors to see how much of that cable needs to stick out of the conduit. So that retainer, it stops the conduit right there and then the cable sticks out beyond that and that's the measurement that we need to get. We have some uh, adjustability on the twist throttle side so the carburetor side doesn't have to be perfect. We actually like to leave it just a little bit long. 
and then any adjustment we need we can make on the twist throttle side. So the, the cable will go into the slide right here and then it'll ex extend below the slide just a little bit where the um, the cable fitting is that we're going to solder on there. So we'll take our first measurement from the top of the slide down to the lowest part where the cable will stop where it has the fitting on it. So we'll get that measurement first and then write that down and record that measurement and then you can take your slide and put it into the carburetor and the next measurement will be from the top of the slide to the top of the carburetor housing Now we can take those two measurements and add those two together and there's one more measurement we need to take. We're not at the point yet where the outer conduit stops. So we went to the top of the carburetor body and now we need to measure from underneath the cap where it screws onto the top of the carburetor body up to where the conduit stops in the retainer. So once we get that measurement we can add the three measurements together for the total length of cable that we need sticking out of the outer housing. Looks like we measured 2.832 of an inch. So with our calipers we'll measure that distance and then we'll trim our cable off there and so this is where we'll take the uh, cable fitting and we'll slide it onto the end of the cable and we'll solder it on there and soldering's never been our expertise so if you don't know how to solder very well you might want to watch a couple YouTube videos on that but we we managed to get it done nice and clean And then we test it to make sure it doesn't want to fall off the cable, make sure it's a good solid connection between the cable fitting and the cable. You don't want that breaking off when you're full throttle and twisted hard on that thing. So now that we have that soldered on the end we can put it all together and so we start by putting the rubber boot onto the cable first and then the cap of the carburetor slide that on next our conduit will go into the retainer until it stops and then we have a little gasket that goes on next and then the return spring. If you haven't done this before notice how we do all that with one hand as far as holding the cable, the cap, and the spring back. If you hold it back with one hand like that then you can use your other hand to get the tape the cable into the slide. Now we got that all hooked up and it's ready to go into the carburetor. Just screw the cap back on And we have it all set up on the carburetor side and the twist throttle side. Quick little test. You can see it springs back nice and solid. We get full throttle as well. 